In today's headlines, Air Canada launches the first non-stop flight between North America and Thailand in 10 years. The Prime Minister accused of using the emergency decree to crack down on protesters and police given new power to arrest motorists that refuse to pay ticket fines. That's all coming up in today's program. Today's show is brought to you by Tiger Property. For all your real estate needs in Thailand, link in the description below. You're watching Thailand News Today, bringing you the latest headlines in Thailand and beyond. My name is Jet Gunther, and in our first story, Air Canada is launching the only available direct service between North America and Thailand by the end of this year. It is the first non-stop service between North America and Thailand in 10 years. Between December and April, Air Canada's Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner aircraft will fly direct between Vancouver and Bangkok four days a week. It will also provide a new option for American passengers. Before, they would have to transit between Hong Kong, Seoul, Taipei, Tokyo, or in the other direction, the Middle Eastern hubs. Canada's flag carrier will fly between Vancouver International Airport and Bangkok Swanapum Airport on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. The flight route is seasonal and will run between December the 4th of 2023 and April the 14th of 2023. The Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner features three cabins, which are Signature Class, Premium Economy, and Economy Class. The westbound flight leaves Vancouver at 11 p.m. and arrives in Bangkok at 5.55 a.m. The eastbound flight will leave Bangkok at 8.30 a.m. and arrive in Vancouver at 6.35 a.m., technically going back in time. Both flights are designed to arrive early in the morning to give passengers the maximum choice of same-day connecting flights. The service is the first non-stop service between North America and Thailand since Thai Airways discontinued its direct service between Los Angeles and Bangkok in 2012. Thai Airways also once ran a direct service between New York City's John F. Kennedy Airport and Bangkok between 2005 and 2008. Tickets are already available to buy on Air Canada's website via the Air Canada mobile application and through travel agents. Thai Prime Minister Prayutan Ocha yesterday dismissed accusations that the nation's emergency decree is in place to control anti-government protesters, despite officials always citing it when trying to disperse crowds. The emergency decree was introduced on March the 26th of 2020 to control the spike in COVID cases and gave the PM full control of antivirus measures as head of the CCSA. However, Move Forward Party's MP Rangsiman Rom on Sunday claims it's now being used to take legal action against protesters rather than curbing the spread of COVID-19 and demanded that the decree be lifted. Rangsiman says the government had eased a number of pandemic restrictions, including allowing people to take off their face masks in open air spaces from July the 1st, so there was no need to maintain the decree. The government has extended this decree 18 times over the past two years, despite the current dramatic drop in coronavirus cases and the easing of pandemic restrictions since the start of the year. But Prime Minister Prayut hit back at the Move Forward MP's attack and said the emergency decree is still needed, but added the cabinet will reassess the situation when the time is right. He said overcrowding at immigration checkpoints is a worry and some COVID restrictions need to be kept in place, so there is no resurgence of cases. A new regulation has given power to the Royal Thai Police to arrest people who fail to pay their driving penalties on time. If a motorist receives a ticket, either in person or by mail, they generally have to pay the fine within 15 days. If a driver fails to pay the fee before the deadline, they will receive a reminder from the police after 15 days. Motorists then get another 15 days to pay the charges. They can pay online through the Grung Thai Bank at convenience store registers, by mail, or at police stations across Thailand. 
If the fine is not paid after that notice, drivers could be served with up to two summons by authorities. After that, the police will ask a court to issue an arrest warrant if drivers do not comply with the two summons. The step was introduced when it was discovered that many drivers were refusing to pay their charges and continued to break traffic laws. Offenders can now be arrested anywhere in Thailand once an arrest warrant is issued, even if they are booked on a flight to leave the country. An arrest will give the motorist a criminal record, which could affect their credit score and future job opportunities. It would also make certain legal procedures more difficult for them. The Royal Thai Army has lifted its boycott of e-commerce platform Lazada. I know, I also forgot that they were boycotting it. The company, owned by the Alibaba Group, was banned from delivering parcels to military premises all over the country for a total of 42 days because of an offensive advert which they claim to be insulting to the Thai royal family. The Thai military warned soldiers of penalties if they ordered goods from Lazada. Commander-in-Chief Narong Han Jit Gao Ta yesterday informed the media that the Royal Thai Army had withdrawn the boycott of Lazada because the advert had been brought to the process of judgment. Narong Han added that the Royal Thai Army would lift the ban on Lazada from July 1st as a goodwill gesture and to boost the nation's economy. Oh, I'm so touched. I hope the camera is catching my tears. The Royal Thai Navy and Air Force also backed the Lazada boycott and officers and their families all avoided using their e-commerce platform. What a dent they made. These two military branches have yet to make an announcement on whether they will lift the ban on Lazada. The airport of Thailand announced that the new passenger terminal at Suwanapung Airport in Bangkok will be ready for use by April of 2023. The automated people mover train, which will be the nation's first driverless electric train used in Thai airports, will be available for passengers to travel between each terminal at the same time as well. The president of the AOT, Nitinaya Siri Samatgan, informed media that the construction of the new passenger terminal, named Satellite 1, had finished and it would be ready for use in April of next year. He also added that the airport capacity will be increased to welcome 60 million passengers per year, up from 45 million passengers. And with 28 aircraft taxi planes, the airport will be able to support up to 68 flights per hour. The new SAT-1 terminal is a four-story building giving way to 216,000 square meters. The B2 floor is for the APM trains, the B1 floor is for the airport office, the G4 is for a conveyor belt, the second floor for arrivals, third floor for departures, and the fourth floor is for restaurants. The APM will be ready for use at the same time as well. The nation's first driverless electric train in an airport will be shuttling trains that connect the former terminal with the new terminal. Nitinai explained that AOT imported the six APM trains from Austria. Each train has two compartments available to welcome 210 passengers per trip or 5,900 passengers per hour. Each train will be tested until they are officially ready for service to ensure its safety, stability and punctuality. Nitinai says no problems have been reported since the AOT started its trials. And that's all for our report from Thailand News Today. The show will be back tomorrow. Meanwhile, you're now up to date on The Tiger.